Hello y'all, it's Ms. Burley TTC and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can keep up to date with all the vlogs that I'm doing for Carnival Vista. Right now we're going to do Carnival Vista Day 2. We're going to do a vlog slash review and the first part is going to be the review talking about all the ship features that I've explored throughout the whole ship. That way whenever I get to the things that I actually did later on, you'll be able to see where I was and be right there with me. Alright y'all, you ready to get started? Let's go! All right, the first few pictures served to just show you how big the Vista was compared to other ships. We have the Freedom right beside of us, the Carnival Freedom, and I think that's the Royal Caribbean right beside it. But I'm standing on deck 10 right now, and I'm looking down at those two ships. So this is just kind of cool to see when you're stacked up right beside the ships. And this was in Cozumel the last day, but I figured I'd just go ahead and put it in there so you guys can just see how the scale of the ship. And then I have more pictures to come. Okay, so the next few pictures here, I'm just going to show you the various deck spaces of Carnival, um, other little areas where you can go hang out and get away from the large crowds. These little barriers you see here, the little white ones with the walls, you can actually walk in between those and walk from one side of the ship from the aft all the way back up to the front of the ship. And there's plenty of places for you to sit down in case you get tired along the way. And if you see these little plastic things, like the spongy things around your cones, they're typically towards the aft where the kids section is or the sports complex is. And the little dolphins area will let you know that you're near um, probably Camp Carnival. This is the next picture is going to be the main arena. This is where all the activities go down as far as the big deck parties. Um, the cruise director will be out here a lot doing competitions. You can come out here and watch movies. The smoking side of the ship is on deck 10 on starboard, so just keep that in mind. You're going to get smoked out if you try to hang over there. A lot of people got there to take a good smoke break, too. Smoke decks, smoking, um, the smoking free decks are going to be on decks 11 on the other side, port side, I believe, and decks 10. Um, I think the other sides are all clear, too. Um, but the next pictures you'll see are just the water park area. So I just put those clips in there. And um, we're going to come past the track. So you can, lots of family areas where you can hang out and just let your kids have their fun while you're just hanging out in the same area to know they're safe. And then it's just a little video of me harassing some lady. I'm not harassing, I'm just joking. But me just walking along the track here just to show you of the grand scale of things. We have some little pocket side um, areas for games. They really thought this through to have a lot of space um, for activities for families. So I really appreciate that um, aspect, aspect about this ship. And then of course they're known for their golf. And this video looks very choppy. But we have the sky course above. Um, and I'm going to have more pictures of that coming up here. I just grabbed something on video just to try to get a clip of it. But yes, this is a sky course. You just have to go up to deck 12 to get to it. And deck 12 is like just a small area. And this is the golf area. Um, then we have like a mini clubhouse, which is going to contain your um, soccer pool, um, your bowling alleys. You have two lanes. And you have a big screen TV in there as well, I believe, for video games. And this hangout spot is open 24-7. But here's the little soccer pool area. And no matter what time I went in there, people are always in there. So I said, let me just get some pictures of these poor innocent souls. And nobody wanted to play pool, um, ping pong, apparently. But And these are enclosed doors. So you're, this is like weatherproof. So you can still enjoy yourself with your family and have fun. And some other like foosball tables are out there in the um, windy area is what I call it. Because it's pretty cold out there.
and I'm take a break and pause for the nice, beautiful, angelic ocean. You get to look at lots of beautiful ocean views while you're out there. Take those pictures. They're just so nice to look at. And we're going to get more of the sky course area. So there's weight re um, restrictions, and I believe, and possibly height restrictions. So I'm going to look into those because they do have um, the sky ride that you can pe pedal around the cup the aft section of the ship which is kind of fun and cool to do so you should try it out um, this is the water slide area that's fun adults can go in there but it's most Okay, we're going to skip on over to Serenity Deck. It's on Deck 15. There's only one elevator that goes to Serenity Deck, and it's only in the forward part of the ship, so uh, I'll explain that later. But again, we have our barriers. You can walk around in between these dividers, but these help keep the wind down some, not all, but they have these lovely areas where you can just relax and lay out. Nice. Everybody loves the clam shells and the big beds. Those are popular for people just to take and hog. Um, then we have two jacuzzis, one on each side. I didn't really in, get to go in this area a lot because it was so windy, and I'm going to let you hear a little bit of how windy it was in just a moment. See what I mean? Nonetheless, it was still a nice area you can hang out. Um, remember, reminders, it is adults only, so 21 and up, and they have a full-service bar there as well as a salad bar there for you to eat. Now, the salad bar is going to only be open on sea days from 11 to 2.30, kind of short, um, and it's not going to be open when it's super windy outside or raining, um, so that's something to keep in mind. But this wasn't apparently super windy. But you have little tables where you can sit down and eat, um, as well as little areas where you can just kind of relax outside. So I would love to try this again when it's not so windy and um, it's the sun is out a little bit more. So I'll probably have to cruise during the summer or something. But so we're going to get some more stable pictures now. And I have pictures of the salad bar next. Um, I didn't get to um, try any of that just because... I try, I was taking all these pictures on the last sea day and I wasn't hungry. But I took pictures of the venue. Little mediocre pictures, but you enjoy. All right, what is coming up next? All right, so we're going to go inside of the ship now and our focus is going to be on the elevator. Remember, I was telling you that some elevators go from floors 3 to 12, others go from 0 to 15 and such. Well, here's an example of that with these elevators. Um, and so remember, they're at the forward side of the ship, and you have to um, press the button in a certain area to go where you want to go. That's all I can say about that. Just be ready for that. I really love the way they designed this ship as far as with the scenery for the stairs. So they kept it really simple and sleek, and they have these beautiful mosaic pictures just um, broken up. And tiles and they're kind of illuminated from the back so they look very nice at night and it was just simple and you'll see that these in every level um, for each stair set very simple easy design and they look pretty pretty places to take pictures so in case you don't want to pay for pixels um, people to take your picture badly you can go ahead stand in front of that and have your family member take it this serves as one of the two cones um, the funnels inside of the ship. Around this funnel we have the alchemy bar which you can go and get your custom mixed drinks. Great spot to just hang out at. Um, we have the bonsai sushi place where you can get some uh, pretty good sushi. I don't I didn't like it on the last cruise I went on but I'm gonna try it again so other people love it. And we have the steakhouse. You must try this. It is $35. Um, $40 with the gratuity added totally worth it every penny try the steakhouse then below this funnel we have the casino which you can see straight below and it is 
you can smell the smoke as well around it. Going past on the on the same floor, going straight through, we have the library where it has the Hasbro games. Um, Carnival is big on the Hasbro game company because they have the Hasbro game show, but I'm not talking about that today because that is tomorrow. That's very fun. Then we have the piano bar, which you can go um, and listen to a live person play piano and everybody's singing and jamming to some oldies. We have lots of places where you can sit down and just relax um, in case you need a break with your family or just have a meeting area. And these areas that you're seeing now are all around the second funnel. This picture right here is what you don't want to do. This is what we call um, for people who wait to the last minute to handle their um, balances. You don't want to be standing in that long line. You can actually handle it much sooner if you go ahead and um, go to a kiosk or go maybe two days before and you make sure your balance is settled or your, the right card is selected for whatever you're going to do. That way you don't have to wait in that long line at the end of the cruise. So that's from the last day. But they have plenty of kiosks where you can check your balance, pay with a credit card, um, get get cash refunds, or pay with cash to remain balanced. They, make it, they made it so simple on this cruise. I really appreciated the thought put into that. And this is the second funnel. This is where there's a bar right there. This is called the atrium. This is where all the action happens as far as the parties inside of the ship. And then we have our lovely cruiser director, which I'll take a break so he can, I'll show you a clip of kind of what he does. He was awesome. Your cruiser director makes it <laughs> Okay, moving on to the shops. This is the $10 shop. There are no $10 sales on the ship. We just have a $10 shop on this particular vessel. And you can buy jewelry, um, which are like necklace sets with statement necklaces. They're very pretty. Uh, makeup bags. We have scarves, beach hats, beach bags, swim covers. And if you buy four, you get one free. Sounds like a good deal to me. All right next we have the Liquid Lounge. This is going to be much smaller than your typical carnival theaters for the Playhouse Productions. Um, inside this, you're going to have, if you want to get to an event and have a great seat, you got to get there early with this. Um, they don't have drink tables for the main seating floor areas unless you're in a big booth with a bunch of people. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, you, the seats are kind of like not big hit friendly, so you might want to keep that in mind as well. You, you'll probably want a booth so you could be comfortable. Then we have the Clue um, game that starts at the beginning of the cruise and then it goes all the way to um, the end of the cruises when they reveal who actually did it. On all the cruises I've been on, it's Professor uh, Plum usually is the culprit. Is it just me? Okay, last honorable mentions before I wrap this video up. We have the um, Cucina de Capiana, Capitano, which is the Italian kitchen. And I'm going to save this until day six. You'll have to come back if you want to find out how I liked or did not like the food in this venue, restaurant. It's a specialty restaurant you have to pay for it. So we're going to talk about that on the last day. So that's going to be video number six for you to check out. As well as for Cherry on Top. I did get something special from here. And I am going to save it into the last, second to last video, video six, where I'm going to do all of the food review items for my C day. So this was definitely a C day I enjoyed. Um, this little shop reminds me of a code stone in the States. So you'll have to come back and watch video six for the review and my thoughts on the food in these places. But they're just some little teaser pictures. All right, I'm going to switch the camera around now so I can show you what I got. All right, there we go. I'm trying to stabilize this a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, so... Just quick little things I want to show you. I didn't do much on the sea day. Um, we went to the arts and crafts section. Um, and they had that real early in the morning. So it was like 8.30 or 9 o'clock. 
but we made that the activity that day was laying yards. And so you can design it any way you want to. But it was nice. It matched some of my outfits. So yeah, I'll keep it in my cruise bag to take it with me. But it gets tangled easily. But it was just something nice and it's free. So check it out. Um, one of the things that I love to collect cups. So I actually bought this cup on the Vista because it had Vista's like logo, not logo, but name on it. And then it was different. So I can actually freeze it like this and I'll keep my drinks cold. So I have a huge cup collection from everywhere I go. I like to get something unique for the area. In Jamaica, I'll, I have cups for that. So I'll show you the ones I bought there. And also for Cozumel, because they finally caught on and did something special for their own culture. Um, quick review for today. Just a few things. This little self video is not going to be long as the last one. Mm -mm. So the spa specials for this C day was $149. And that includes 75 minutes of a full body of Swedish massage, dry skin foliation, which is just a brush, dry brush your skin, um, full body, foot and ankle, a soothing scalp neck and shoulder massage, eye collagen treatment, and um, that was all for $149. If you wanted to upgrade it to a bamboo massage or stone massage, it'll be $25 in addition. So not too bad, but it gets better. So this CA, they had a free ladies pamper party, and you want to check those out each time. They offer you different specials depending on which day it is. So on the last C day, I'm going to show you how we really save some big bucks by just showing up to the pamper party. All right. What else? I have another just um, C day spa savings. Eat it, Chris. Eh, this is a thing. They do, they'll give you two flyers, multiple ones that will have different specials on it. And so I'll just show it to you like that. You can pause the video if you need to to read it so you can get an idea it's the same on every ship they might just pick a bucket of different types of specials but they're all the same 149 I know it's kind of cricket but you can probably find these on the internet y'all there we go okay and there weren't there weren't any fun events that we actually went to that all happens later on from this video forward. So I'm going to wrap this up because I'm going to save all my energy for the next video. It's going to be a good review. You need to come back. You need to subscribe. Go ahead and like this video if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll check y'all out next time. Thanks for watching. I love y'all very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, last thing. As a reminder, Shara J went on the same cruise that I went on, but she went a week earlier. So check out her videos because she's her she's posting her views her videos in advance of mine. But it is taking us both a long time just because there's a lot of material to cover. So I haven't like I haven't watched her I watch her videos her video right after I post mine because I don't want to steal any ideas and I want to make sure that um, I'm covering some things like just for my first impression of it. But after I watch her day one video, I'll make some additional comments in my next one just to let you know if I agree or um, if I can add anything else to what she uh, said in her video. But check her out, um, support her channel, and subscribe as well. Bye!
I've sent it like a mint lemon. Alright, I'll be in the room. If I, if I take too long, come get me, I'm sleeping.